This is a Lego minifigure head that looks like it's crying blood. And this is a massive Lego eyeball. Today, I lit my wand on fire and spent $700 buying the strangest, scariest, and downright weirdest Lego products I could find. These include horribly printed minifigures, terrifying old Lego sets, and a tiger with a butthole. Literally, it cost me $50. But here's where the fun comes in. Among the $700 is eight boxes, and each time I open a box, I'm gonna pick one item from it to put in the tub of terror. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna design a custom Lego set using all of the contents from the tub of terror. My goal? Use the scariest item from each box to design the ultimate creepy Lego set that would never be approved to put on shelves. The contents of the first box included a creepy Harry Potter character, a minifig from Pirates of the Caribbean that's based off a cannibal, he cooks people. Speaking of food, here's this pizza piece that has a mouth, and here's this pretty creepy looking mutant Lego head. But some other things that are spooky are these injured animal minifigs. These guys have visual battle scars throughout their body, and they're just casually walking like their guts aren't oozing out of their legs in the trunk of this elephant guy. But one of Lego's funniest, most unintentionally scary mistakes is this. If you've ever seen SpongeBob, Rusty Cray! This is Lego's version of one of the main characters, Squidwardo. This is how he looks like in the show, and this is what the minimum wage Lego intern came up with. Why is he smiling? Squidwardo never smiles. But at least they tried again with this much improved version six years later where they didn't try and hydraulic press the entire head into one round shape and they gave him that beautiful facial expression. Now after a careful consideration, the first pick for the Tub of Terror is Compacted Head Squidwardo. Next box. The second box contained a bunch of cool stuff like this Muppets figure who has a really funny looking head and then we have this guy who's one of the bad guys in the third Toy Story movie who just straight up looks painful to step on. And then we have this very enthusiastic pink cat. Considering cats normally look like they want to discontinue the human breed, seeing a cat smile is not a very comforting thing. Now let's travel to the Pixar universe for one of the most scary things ever. Wazowski. This is a Lego Lightning McQueen covered in mud. This is a slightly scarier Lego car also covered in mud. He also needs to see a dentist. But this right here is scarier than all, a creepy Lego school bus. Imagine being a Lego minifigure, sending your kid with their chicken nuggets and apple slices for the first day of school, and this pulls up to pick up your offspring, the perfect whip for the tub of terror. <laughs> Now despite the size, this next package is the second most expensive order because it has some extremely rare stuff. First, here are some Harry Potter minifigures from 2004 before I was even alive, and here are their modern counterparts. The old Hagrid head is completely terrifying to what it is now, and the minifigure has molded fingers. Lego minifigures never have those. Next, there used to be a super old Lego game called Lego Racers, which very surprisingly was a game about 4K Lego characters speeding. But also these creepy brick dudes who are supposed to resemble characters from the game, but by themselves they look really weird with all these prints. Next, this order has a bunch of creepy minifigure heads, so here's a rapid round. Here's some old Lego heads that were printed way differently than they are now. The hair on some of these are just ridiculous. Here's some angry faces from many different themes. Here's some cool and weird looking prints. Here's your doctor. Here's a guy growing facial hair in places I didn't even think was possible. This guy looks like the average dude on Omegle. Okay, next, I bought a bunch of items from an old unique Lego theme called Lego Belleville. That name might sound innocent, but let me show you this. This is a Belleville baby, and it's one of the scariest things I've ever touched. I mean, look at this. This is Lego. This was legally allowed to be sold on shelves and called a children's toy with the Lego logo, but it doesn't stop with that baby. But this is what a Belleville minifigure looked like. It looks more like a Playmobil figure than something even remotely close to your average Lego minifigure. <laughs> It can still stick onto studs, and you can even pose it to make them do a Fortnite dance. They genuinely look like creepy dolls. This one was supposed to resemble a Lego store employee. How did they not go bankrupt back then? But that's not even it for this theme. Here are these super weird Lego princess figures in three different colors. Broccoli, cauliflower, and Marge Simpson's hair. But that's not even it, because Lego included bedding in these sets. Speaking of bedding, I'm replacing my entire bed with a Lego bed at a million subscribers, so be sure to click that button. Here's the Lego Belleville pillow. I don't know if this is for the cursed baby, but these were on shelves. Same with these weird Lego pouch things that you could store minifigs in, or the baby and then throw it off your roof. And here's this massive castle piece that's much bigger than the modern version. POV, someone when they subscribe. Okay, but after looking at Lego Belleville products and the rest of this stuff, the next pick for the tub of care is the horrorous Belleville baby itself. Book it! Look at that, absolute dime. The fourth box contains two things, an actual sealed Belleville Lego set from 11 years ago which is losing value as I touch it, and after opening it like a champ, I constructed the set. It actually doesn't look as crazy as the other Belleville products. The main highlight of it are these two dogs. Now these dogs might not be as scary as the child we looked at earlier, but when you put them next to the modern Lego dogs, they look pretty weird. Now for this next item, we need 15 seconds of context. Toys R Us used to be a bustling kid's store before Jeff Bezos invaded, and this is the mascot of Toys R Us, a peaceful, friendly, kinda creepy looking giraffe. 
who they named Geoffrey with a G instead of Jeffrey. But that doesn't matter, this is the Lego set based off him, which somehow made an already creepy animal mascot even scarier. This set is his neck chopped off on a green plate with extremely death staring eyes. The neck of Geoffrey the giraffe is our fourth volunteer for the Tub of Terror. We're gonna have to fix that. Now it's time for a surprise bonus. I went to Target with the goal of finding the scariest Lego set. There was everything, pigs, sheep, a guy picking up poop. But scarier than all was this majestic tiger set who set my wallet's life expectancy back $50. But that wasn't it because this set with handsome Thor caught my eye, I had to have it. And these cute sea animals to cleanse my eyes from what we're about to see. I bought all of them. But here's the secret backstory on why this Lego tiger is really creepy. Number one, it's a tiger. If this you, what are you doing? But the second fact is that the Lego designers made one key mistake that many Lego fans on the internet caught onto and memed poor Tony the Tiger for. Behind this fluffy little plasticky tail, the tiger has a booty hole. Yes, the designer probably just included it as a funny joke to the approval team, ha ha ha, until the approval team was lacking and actually approved it. And it became an official Lego set and Gen Z noticed. Bruh. Bruh, bruh. But what's even crazier is that they used a pink flower piece, the most eye-catching thing in the entire world to represent it. Well, it's actually because that's the accurate color to the tiger's actual but you get what I mean. I don't know if I'm more disappointed in the Lego designers for turning this harmless tiger into a Greek statue, or the fans who immediately noticed it and memed it everywhere. Here's some immaculate quotes. The past few years have been tough, but now thanks to this humble plastic tiger, Angel, humanity is restored. So motivating, so motivating that it's time for the next box. Okay, remember Geoffrey the Giraffe from earlier? Well, this next box has a sealed version of the set called Geoffrey and Friends, an exclusive sold in Geoffrey's old stomping grounds, Toys R Us, and after building it, I can confidently say that these four kids are not his friends. While it isn't as creepy as the neck from earlier, Lego got the proportions of the giraffe wrong, and this little girl is an alternate face that shows the true emotions of seeing Geoffrey. These two Geoffreys single-handedly bankrupt the entire Toys R Us franchise. Now, the other item in here is an old Lego Darth Vader minifigure with this face. Now it isn't as scarred as the modern version, but he's just straight up bleeding. Okay, I think it's a pretty obvious choice on who gets picked to be in the Lego set. Geoffrey the giraffe traumatizing children, or the physical embodiment of falling in a bin of recycled knives. I think it's a pretty clear decision. Geoffrey, enjoy bankruptcy because Darth Vader is joining us in the tub of terror. This next box has a bunch of minifigures. Here's this creepy squid that not only has these giant creepy tentacles, but under the mask there's this face that looks like me after sucking on a lemon. Here's a cave woman with a Spiky bat. Here's a Lego Minotaur, which is apparently a mythological beast that's half man and half bull. And here's this robotic minifigure from an old theme called Bionicle. And to round out this box, we have these two guys from Angry Birds. The Lego is specifically molded to look like the pigs that the birds violate in the game and movie. And they look really cool. And for the sixth pick of the Tub of Terror. Okay, Chef Piggy is the perfect pick to cook up all these inhabitants of the Tub of Terror, the perfect food. Oh no, he lost his hat! Now this next box is even crazier minifigures than the last. Lego used to have a theme called Lego Atlantis, where they made some really weird creatures like the squid from earlier, but this guy is much scarier. But the real secret is revealed if you take off the head and look at the printing in the middle of the torso. Even if an absolute Greek god named Adonis or something was swimming and managed to decapitate this beast, it would just go to plan B and murk you from the inner mouth. Here's another Atlantis figure that looks perfectly normal from the outside, but similar to the creepy piranha, when you take off the mask, you see an extremely creepy face. This looks like a blob of blood with thousands of teeth, and here's how the head looks like on other minifigures, genuinely terrifying. Here's another Lego cannibal so the first one can have a snack, here's another Lego robotic figure that has an even scarier face, and another Lego theme that used to exist is Lego Trolls, which is based on an already scary looking movie, and Lego produced figures looking like this. It's got a massive head with a mohawk that looks even crazier when it's put on normal minifigures. Here's a Lego cheerleader that's a zombie, here's a Lego hunter armed with two swords, and here's a way cooler hunter that may be 4 foot 1 but has a mohawk that looks like he's trying to drop a deuce for the first time in 10 months. And to clear our palette from all these scary items, here's your ordinary Lego soccer player from a minifigure line that was released 6 years ago. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. The next pick for the Tub of Terror is... It was too hard to choose, so I settled on plan B and gave each minifigure a number, and then asked my best friend to pick. Good morning, Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 9. 4. Enjoy your stay. And now it is time for the biggest box in the entire video. Now the first items here are from Lego Galador, an extremely old Lego theme with some of the weirdest looking Lego characters ever. I know we looked at a lot of extremely old Lego themes, but this, I guarantee you, is the weirdest. Galador Defenders of the Outer Dimension. This guy looks like a defender of the outer dimension. This, Nick. Nick looks like a serial killer. Now for these actual figures themselves, considering they were branded as a Lego product, these are extremely weird. This guy right here just looks completely cursed. What is up with that head? His arm is some sort of mechanical robotic arm. This blue guy is actually kind of cool, but should still not be on shelves with real Lego sets. Imagine you ask your grandma for a Lego set for Christmas, and you get this creepy green thing under your tree. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these three figures were Lego McDonald's Happy Meal toys. 
Yes, that means there are kids who saw this guy next to their chicken nuggets, apple slices, and milk jug. If I was five and I saw that, that would make me never want to consume food at all again. Next, here's another creepy bionicle head, and here's the Super Mario villain that has a very creepy face print. And the last item in the box was a Lego set from 10 years ago, and after building it, Here's how it looks. This guy was supposed to look like this guy, Captain America. What did they do with my guy's head? Why does it look like Thanos and Captain America had a child? What happened in the multiverse? It may have been 10 years ago, but the LEGO designers were not moving right with this one. Now for the final snack for the top of terror, the Mario wheel. Psych! It's the super creepy Galador McDonald's guy. Oh, the pig kind of got sandwiched in a very weird position. <laughs> And now that we have all of them picked for their elite attributes held hostage in the tub, it is time to design a custom LEGO set. Here are four plates, the space we have to house everything in the tub of terror. The first thing I decided to build was a road for the creepy school bus to ride on. I constructed one by placing bricks on their side, and even though I kept running out of black bricks and had to amputate many sets, I built these two sections that connect together to form the perfect surface for the school bus to ride on, and it actually looks like a road. Next, I had two sections of free real estate on the sides, the first of which I'm gonna build a haunted graveyard on. I built some terrain and then threw in a bunch of gravestones with different designs and then added plants, owls, this creepy statue with the staff that I'm calling the Watcher of the Dead and then a pot for the Angry Birds Piggy to cook up the good stuff. Then I added Hydraulic Press Squidward whose food is about to eat him and Anakin hiding behind a plant soaking in blood. The graveyard is now complete so let's build something on the other side. I decided to build the most scary thing known to mankind, a toy store. The plan is toy store with Jeffrey as the mascot in the front since he's looking for a job anyways and seeing him would make all potential customers rush inside the store. But what are they gonna see when they enter. So I built an interior with a bunch of cool builds. We got a rack with a deadly weapon and then three other random things. I also built a shelf with items ranging from a skeleton head to the Belleville baby who also works part time as the cashier. And after a few more additions, the inside of the shop is done so I built up the walls on the outside which have orange and black columns with the blue and nougat color scheme along with these leaves and vines I added infecting the walls to make the store look more haunted. Then I designed a roof featuring Geoffrey himself and then I added some of his past victims around him along with an owl, a bottle of nightmare juice, and a freshly fried chicken drumstick. Then I added the perfect salesperson and the final member from the Top of Terror, Galador Man, who is here to conquer and destroy everything in his path. And that's it for the entire build. Comment down below the scariest item. This video took a ton of research. I literally had to read articles about a tiger's anatomy, and I filmed and built mostly everything with gloves, which is really hard. So subscribe or I'll tell your mom you wet the bed. Also, this is a collaboration with my friend TD Bricks, who showed a bunch of cursed minifigures in his video. So check out that awesome video. Link down below when it comes out. Okay, bye now.